Additional films on the invasion of Balik Papan Borneo by troops of the Australian 7th Division. At Moratai Island, staging area for the invasion, a vast supply of materiel is loaded on the transports while troops assemble to embark on LCIs. The operation is under the joint command of Australian and American officers. Due to the shallow beaches at Moratai, the Australians are forced to wade through water above the waist to board the LCIs. Over 300 ships of the U.S. 7th Fleet and the Royal Netherlands Navy participate in the invasion of oil-rich Balikpapan. Rocket ships help reduce shore installations and defenses, taking part in the intense aerial and naval bombardment which preceded the invasion. of black smoke from burning oil tanks and refineries hang over the beach as Jap 5-inch coastal guns fire at our fleet units offshore. Amtraks and landing craft bring the Australians ashore. 7th Division troops land in force 1st July, hitting the beach at Klandasan, the European suburb of Balikpapan. After quickly establishing a beachhead, Australian infantry, supported by alligator tanks, push inland past the blazing ruins of buildings and oil installations. Enemy small arms and mortar fire is encountered by the Australians, who quickly capture strategic Parramatta Ridge overlooking the city. Infantry flamethrowers destroy Japs taking refuge in pillboxes. The few natives remaining in the district are rounded up by the Australians. Many are starved and malaria ridden. Knocked out enemy coastal guns. Prior to the invasion landings, 17 of 28 known 90 millimeter gun positions were destroyed by planes of the 13th Air Force. Captured Japanese anti-aircraft direction and fire control equipment similar to that employed by the Allies. 